In a fighter jet, the heart that defines its speed, range and combat power is its engine. And for India, that heart has always come from abroad. But now India's Defence Minister, Mr. Rajnath Singh's statement to make jet engines in India by Indians and on Indian soil marks a defining moment. It's not just about self-reliance, it's about sovereignty and the power to truly make a fighter that is made in India. For decades, India's fighter jets have flown with foreign engines from British Rolls-Royce Avon in early Nats to the American GE F404 and F414 engines in the Tejas and the upcoming Amca. While India mastered aircraft design through HAL and ADA, the ability to design and build jet engines remained an elusive frontier. Now, the government's push for indigenous engine manufacturing is poised to close that technological gap. Jet engines aren't just mechanical marvels. They are a statement of national power. Only a handful of countries like the United States, Russia, France, the United Kingdom and China have mastered this art. And now, India aims to join that elite club. A modern fighter jet engine operates at over 1,500 degrees centigrade with rotating blades spinning faster than 10,000 revolutions per second. It requires cutting-edge metallurgy, precision engineering and advanced materials that can withstand extreme stress and temperature. Each engine has more than 20,000 individual components, from turbine blades to combustion chambers all of which must perform flawlessly. Developing such technology indigenously means achieving master in turbo machinery, AI-based controls and thermal management. India is already in advanced discussions with GE Aerospace for co-production of F414 engines in India, the power plant of Tejas Mark II and Amka Mark I. But beyond that, the government wants Indian scientists engineers and industry to absorb that technology and build the next generation turbofan indigenously. This would mean an Indian design, Indian material science, Indian testing infrastructure and ultimately Indian intellectual property. It isn't just about aircraft engines, it's about ecosystem creation because once India can build jet engines, it can also design UAV propulsion systems ship gas turbines and space engines. Basically, it's a multiplier for every domain of national power. Building jet engines at home aligns with India's vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense. It reduces dependence on foreign suppliers, ensures security of spares during conflict, and creates an industrial base for exports. It also fuels India's ambition to become a global aerospace hub. The joint ventures, startups, and private manufacturers entering the defense supply chain. The journey from Tejas to Amka is the story of India's aerospace maturity. Tejas proved India can design a 4.5 generation fighter. Amka aims to prove that India can build a fifth generation stealth jet with its own radars, sensors, and now its own engine. Once achieved, India would be among only a handful of nations to field a completely indigenous fighter jet powered by its own innovation. In aviation, independence isn't about airframes, it's about engines. When India builds its own jet engine, it will not just power a fighter, it will power a dream, a generation and a new era of technological sovereignty. Owning your own engine means owning your skies. Without it, you are actually assembling someone else's power.